7th of April is a World Health Day. Theme for this year World Health Day is Health Facilities in Emergencies. This is a call not only for health sector. Other related sectors also need to act to ensure that health facilities remain functioning in emergencies and thereby save lives of the affected population. The British member states in the Southeast Asia region are prone to disasters. Between the year 1996 to 2005, over half a million people in this part of the world lost their lives to natural disasters. This number was nearly 58% of the world's total deaths due to disasters. These disasters also profoundly affected health facilities in communities. On these facilities, whether a primary health center or a district hospital are in the forefront during an emergency. Health facilities are at risk from natural or man-made catastrophe. The infrastructure of these facilities need to be made strong and protected so that they can continue providing the needed services to the injured. What makes a health facility safe? We need to consider three aspects, structural, non-structural, and functional. For the structural integrity of hospitals, modern engineering sciences have provided us with low-cost solutions. It will ensure that buildings do not collapse during earthquakes or cyclones. For non-structural life lies such as water and power supply, this must be ensured. Equipment of health facilities must not break or injure people. Access and escape routes must be kept open. Safety also requires proper planning and management. A safe and functional health facility must have contingency plans. Health workforce must be well trained. And they must always be ready to deal with emergencies. The Southeast Asia region has taken steps to help save lives of the affected population during emergencies. Among other things, this is through promoting the design and construction of health facilities that are safe during emergencies. The region has developed assessment tools to measure how safe a hospital is. These safe hospital indices can be applied to any health facility. Few countries in the Southeast Asia region have adapted these tools to suit the situation in their own countries. These tools can help decision makers in their prioritization of action during emergencies. Global scenario are changing. The rapid urbanization and climate change. Our health facilities are pushed to their limits. For on this reason, it is vital that we discuss the safety of hospital during emergencies. Ensuring safety of hospital is the responsibility of several sectors, not only health. Communities need to be fully aware of these issues. Community leaders need to be strong advocates to create the necessary awareness among people and decision makers. Protecting human health should be the primary motivation behind any action to reduce the risk due to these sectors on this World Health Day. Let us remember that safe health facilities save lives.